Okay guys, this is the Ray Photo RD881 projector. You can buy this on Amazon at 160 pounds. This is a native 1080p projector with 9,500 lumens of brightness, which I think is a very good brightness level for a projector of this price range. It has 4K upscaling support, and this can project up to 300 inches as its max projection. This also has 2D keystone projection as well. It's not as quite as good as the ones that have 4D keystone, but nonetheless, it's going to be really good to test this out to see the capabilities of it. And in terms of the quality as well, it also has 10,000 to one contrast ratio, which I think is great. Inside the box, you get this very nice backpack. I say backpack because it does have straps there at the end as well, so you can carry this with you, making it a little bit more portable than larger projectors inside here let's go ahead and see what we have so just on the back pocket there you have yourself the user manual and some cleaning kit for the projector then there are some cables just at the end here let's take a look so you have your AV cable set there you have your power plug HDMI to HDMI and then you have the remote control just to quickly showcase this to you guys there we go pretty standard remote control that controls all of the main functions that you'd expect and it does take two AAA batteries which are not supplied in the box it is quite smaller than a lot of the projectors I've reviewed in the past and I have reviewed quite a lot I'll also leave a link in my description to check out my projector playlist if you guys wanted to check out some of the other models so here you can see they have touch capacitive buttons at the top of the projector and you also have just on top of that the manual focus and the manual keystone. On the back of the projector, you only have yourself the power port. Traditionally, you will usually have all of the ports on the back, but I think it's great to have them on the side as well because you just have the infrared there for the remote control, which I think actually is quite nice because sometimes the IR is on the front or the sides, and if you are watching it from behind the projector, then it might not be so easy to control the projector from behind. So these are the ports on the back. You have the headphone port, the AV port, two USB ports, and two HDMI ports. So plenty of connectivity options. Right at the bottom, if you wanted to elevate this and angle this, you have a screw kickstand that you can turn and just point it at a certain angle, and then use manual adjustments to get the keystone and the focus absolutely correct. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and set this up. I'm gonna showcase a few things. First of all, I'll run through some of the menu and the settings in the options. And then I'm also going to showcase two different types of videos, one with the brightness in the room a little bit higher, so I'll have the shutters and the light coming in. And then afterwards, I'll showcase the difference this makes with all of the shutters completely closed and I've just blacked out the room completely to really give you the experience of how this performs. Just a side note to remember how I view the videos and how I hear the sound of the projector is going to be slightly different to how you guys are watching and hearing this video. So just bear that in mind and I'll try my best to showcase and give you an opinion of how good this is. Now I'm really going to test that 9,500 lumens of brightness. Hopefully that gives a very clear picture in conjunction with 10,000 to one contrast ratio. And I'm also going to test out the low noise levels on this projector, like it does mention in the description of the product on the Amazon listing. And just to generally see if it has you know, good heat dissipation and I can hear everything clearly. It does have hi-fi stereo audio in there as well, but let's go ahead and test the sound quality in addition to the video quality and see how it performs. Okay, so I've got it set up now. I've corrected the focus manually using the buttons here. So you can see this is the 2D projection and this is the focus wheel. And it's very easy to do. The first thing I just wanted to showcase to you guys is the noise levels that comes from the fan. Because one thing I've noticed is when I've turned this on compared to a lot of the projectors that I've tested in the past, this is very quiet compared to that. I know it's something that you guys might not be able to hear that clearly on the video, but in my opinion, it's one of the quietest projectors I've had, especially in this price range. So I'm just gonna show you a video, gonna take it very close to the projector and see how quiet this is for you guys to hear.
So hopefully you guys try to hear that as clearly as you can. If you do have some headphones, then that would be the best way to watch this video and to listen to some of the sound tests. Now, I do have a lot of sunlight coming into the room, as you guys can see, and I wanted to showcase to you guys the brightness levels with this projector, allowing you to still see everything quite clearly. Just gonna quickly run through the menu here. So the first option here is multimedia. This is for USB, so when you go into that, you can select movie, music, photos, or text, so like documents, for example. And I'm using the remote, by the way. It is pretty responsive, and I really like using this. This also allows you to cast your iPhone and Android phones using iOS Cast and Miracast, which I think is a great option. This gives you instructions on how you can very easily do that. Like so. Then you have the AV input. You can actually connect your iOS cable and have a wired connection as well, which I think is great. And then there's your two HDMI ports. Just a quick run through the settings so you can configure your Wi-Fi. If you go into system settings, here you'll find all of the common options and it does have Bluetooth as well. So if you wanted to listen to your movies using this with wireless headphones, then connect to Bluetooth and you can do that as well. And then if you go to projection settings, projection mode, allows you to switch between where the projector is located. So you have front desktop, which is where I've got it on the tabletop right now. You can mirror it and reverse it like so. You can switch it around upside down and flip that around as well. And then you're back to the start. You can also change the focus settings from here. So very minimal amount of settings compared to a lot of the projectors, but I think sometimes simplicity does go a longer way, which I think is great. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect my Apple TV with the HDMI port here, because this doesn't have any inbuilt OS that allows you to use on-demand apps. There's no Android TV on this. So you would have to connect something to watch on it. So whether that's your laptop, your Fire Stick, your Apple TV, whatever it may be, plenty of different options. So let me showcase an example of showing a demo video in this level of brightness in the room. And then what I'll do is turn off all of the lights, all of the shutters, make it a blackout, and really show you the quality on how this projector performs. Okay, now I have my Apple TV connected. I've connected it directly to the HDMI 1 port. So I'm going to go ahead and open up HDMI 1 from the front menu. And now this is my Apple TV. So let me showcase a demo video. I'll just pop over to YouTube. Okay, you can see it's still quite clear. I can see a lot of the vibrant colors in this demo video. And there's some music playing in the background. So I also wanted to showcase the audio as well, but I'm gonna focus on that with the next demo video that I'm going to show you. But just for reference, while this is playing, I'm going to turn off all of the shutters and make it pitch black to really showcase how clear this video is. There we go. Look at the detail in this. I know it doesn't do justice in the video and how you guys are watching it, whether that's on your phone, your laptop or your TV. But this is very sharp and very clear. For me personally, it's probably one of the brightest colors I've seen in any of my previous projector reviews. And I'm not just saying that because this one, I feel like 9,500 lumens is probably one of the largest amounts of brightness in this price bracket range for a projector of this size as well. And as you can see, you know, it's doing an excellent job displaying all of the colors. I feel like I'm gonna really enjoy watching my movies in this and even in a lot of the darker scenes, it would be quite clear. So the next video will have a lot of darker scenes and it will have some vibrant colors and it will have some really good audio as well. So I'm gonna give you like the whole demo in one. So let's switch over to that and really showcase how it sounds and I will put the volume up. I'll stand very close to the projector so you guys can hear the audio and showcase you guys how that performs.
So there you have it guys. That was a really great demo. And for me personally, if I'm going to be watching movies at nighttime when it is already quite dark, this is super bright and I'm super happy with the way this performs. Even this little demo video I'm showing you now, it feels so clear because this is a 4K video that I'm just playing off of YouTube. And I feel like this has upscaled it a little bit from 1080p because it is ultra detailed, it's super sharp, the colors are vibrant. And I feel like this will be great for pretty much anyone that wants to connect their own HDMI source to a projector and really enjoy their TV shows and movies like I do. So take a look at the description below. Hopefully this helped you guys decide if this is a very good buy to have. The link for the Amazon listing is down in the description. As always, make sure to like this video, make sure to subscribe. I've got new videos out every week and I'll be reviewing plenty of other projectors in the near future. Check out my projector playlist as well, which I'll put down below and I will catch you guys at the next one. Take care.